Yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, once more, good evening. On my platform, let's share, let's share, let's share, and let's share for others to join us so that we can have some briefings uh, concerning the Ambazonian Revolution. As I promised that I was going to come online today at 5 p.m., I am a bit, uh, I'm somehow seven minutes earlier before the time I set, but I think all is okay. Let's share and let's share and let's share. Let's invite, let's, uh, let invite others to join us. Let's try to populate this platform so that the next three minutes I shall be giving the, giving out some live briefings, some briefings some latest updates some updates concerning this revolution i shall be coming up with some updates some latest information let's share let's share and let's share ambazonia must be free ambazonia must be free nobody owns ambazonia more than every one of us each and every one of us own the same share of Ambazonia as those who claim they are the owner nobody is the owner I am the owner you are the owner all of us are the owner of Ambazonia we all of us belong belongs to one family and that family is the family of Southern Cameroon let's share and let's share and let's share let's invite many other people so that we can share or uh, share this information together so that we can be brief. We can have some latest briefings concerning Ambazonian restoration process. Let's share, let's share, let's share. Ladies and gentlemen, let's share, let's share, let's share. Let's, let's share, let's invite members so that we can brief. Let everyone be well equipped with the information and the necessary tools to see that this revolution goes to a logical conclusion that will be beneficial beneficial to every son and so son and daughter of uh, the um, Bazonian, every son and daughter of southern cameroon let's share let's share let's share ladies and gentlemen once more welcome to my on my platform for this live edition of my show Updates concerning the Ambazonian restoration movement. As I said earlier that I will be briefing you people today at 5 p.m. Amba time. Here I come with some latest information and some encouraging words towards this struggle. My brothers and sisters, you are welcome on board. Here is your humble servant, uh, one-man soldier, Zale Clovis Songe, alias Songo Jacques, who is talking here right from the kingdom of Belgium. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to throw some light concerning the case of uh, the Naira 10 and precisely the actions taken by the former, our former president, His uh, Excellency Sisiko Tabe Julius Ayuk, who is uh, behind bars in a neighbor in a neighboring country, La Republic du Cameroon, the Republic of Cameroon? They happen to be there in the, this capacity ten, the Naira ten. That is what we titled. They are the people that were kidnapped from Nigeria and illegally deported to Cameroon to come and languish in jail. But there are a lot of events turning around, so we have to be so careful. And we have to be well equipped with this information. So uh, I want to go in directly to the case concerning the Naira 10. Let's know properly. They have been jailed. They have been served with life sentences. The 10 of them. But there are, there are things that are, that are coming from behind bar. Because we think uh, our former president, Sisiko Tabe Julius Ayok, wants to be ruling... 8 million free Ambazonians from behind jail. And that can never be possible. 
and that is completely out of place. That is impossible. That has never happened anywhere. That didn't happen with Mandela. That has not happened in any other revolutions. Our, our own revolution is not the first revolution on earth. So that can never happen. Nobody can rule from behind jail, from behind bars, from jail. No one can rule from jail. No one can rule behind bars because every information, every action is monitored by our enemy, by our oppressor who are keeping them there. Uh, to cut the long story short, he was impeached. He is no longer a, a leader. We have a leader who is Dr. Samuel Sako Ekome, uh, who is doing a, mal a marvelous job, who has taken the job from where he left it, from where they were kidnapped and they were tra uh, ex uh, deported to Nigeria. He has done a lot of, there have been a lot of evolution because I remember properly when Tabe Julius was a free man and his cabinet, this revolution were just protesting and he was carrying out just diplomatic offenses. He was making tours, but the revolution never took a different shape. But at this moment, rightly, we are now defending our territory. After he must have restored this independent, we are now defending the independent. We are defending our territory. We are defending our, our old uh, mothers and fathers. We are defending our children, our young and the old who are def depending, uh, defending our girls from being raped by the brutal regime of uh, President Paul Bia. Now, let's get to the story. There have been several informations coming from behind bar. We are aware and a majority of the population of Ambazonia out there, if not 90%, at most 85%, support the IG. The IG that is free, that is out, that is being led by His Excellency Dr. Samuel Sako Ekome, who has been doing a marvelous job. We cannot say he is perfect, he has his own fault, but we prefer to work with him because we know even America that we are begging to come to our favor. We can see a lot of problems with their own system of governance. They are, uh, they are not perfect, so but it's only God that, uh, who is perfect. So my brothers and sisters, Many more stories are coming from behind bars. The Naira 10, they shall be going to court in a few days' time for the appeal to be heard against their life, uh, their life sentence. Now, I want to tell you people that when Baristan saw said Sisiko Tabe Julius Ayuk is compromised, compromised wasn't uh, just a simple statement it didn't mean he collected money no when you move from the original goal of what you believe in and you change then you are compromised and you dance in line with our oppressor then you have been compromised now we can see clear evidence and many other things that shows this compromise this his comp his compromise a letter was written and he wrote a disclaimer to Maurice Canto. It was a secret letter that was leaked out by one of Maurice, uh, Maurice Canto's right, uh, right hand uh, people who believe that we need to be free, we need justice. Now, when we saw it, we saw Comrade Tassan Wifred, who was not, who didn't take, he didn't take the side where they were trying to, 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 to favor such letters. And that, that one in, in itself is a form of compromise. My brothers and sisters, more details are coming. A video came, uh, an audio message resurfaced where we have heard Sisiko trying to dictate in a meeting whereby he stays behind bar. A meeting which is organized. A meeting which is being supervised, which is being monitored by our enemies, La Republic. Because every why every information coming out from the Naira 10 jail, from their sleeping rooms and wherever they live in, 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 in behind bars, is being monitored and is being tapped. He was trying to dictate, trying to shut down people with uh, coming up with good ideas, trying to uh, make do where that people are deleted from the meeting because they share different ideas with him. 
We have heard everything that trans uh, trans uh, transpired uh, before he came out with another government. He came out with a fraudulent government which is not recognized. The kick that we call the I, uh, I, uh, the Kondege IG that cannot even rule. That is unable to pass one legislature. We know now properly because we have had these audios. We have had the audios from these meetings. We have had about two audios uh, from two meetings whereby we saw Sisiko imposing himself, showing us the type of rule, the type of leadership, the type of governance that we are trying to avoid, that we are running away from, is what we have that he is trying to implement in Ambazonia. But clearly we cannot accept because we know we are a free people. We are one of the country that practice or one of a, a people because some people argue that we have never been a country but we are the people who first carried out free and democratic elections during the period of 1950s to 1959 free elections and free trans, uh, power transfer was weakness in southern cameroon british southern cameroon during the, 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 that period there was no manipulations democracy was respected and each and every one of us must know that this is the type of government and this is the type of state we want a state that will be equal everyone will be equal before the law no no one will think that he or she owns that state more than you so no let no let no nobody make an error that we are going to be in chaos we cannot but if we have the leadership of people like someone like uh, Tabe Julius Ayub, then I think we are in problem. I begin to see it now properly that anybody who has, who have been working or who worked with the La Republic of Cameroon can never be straightforward, can never be democratic because of, of the form of government that they have there, the dictatorial regime there, you copy those tendencies and you want to trans, uh, transfer them wheresoever you go. Now, Mr. Sisiko, get this from me as an individual. I'm speaking from my own opinion. You can never dictate to anybody. And make no error. Even if you come out, you can never be a leader. You will still be, if a bona fide son of Southern Cameroon, and if you like, you will have to follow the revolution like others are, uh, are following. If you don't want to follow the revolution, that is your business. Any agreement, because we know you are, you are compromised from behind bars, because you are seeking for your leadership, because you are seeking for your release, you have, been, you have been compromised. I know you are going to sign some agreements, but those agreements, they don't burn us. They, uh, you, they, because you are no longer a leader. You have been impeached, and that remains final. Now, we know they said... You, will be, uh, you people will be going to court for an appeal case. If you go to court for an, an appeal case, it's already a worked out, it's already a manipulative uh, uh, tendency that La Republic is using. They kept you there, they kept you there with your, your colleagues so that they could use this as a form of dialogue, as a form of negotiations. But they failed because the Southern Cameroonians, they are very, very intelligent and very, very smart. Immediately you got there, we learned, we learned a lesson from uh, Bala because when Bala came out, we saw how far he was compromised and how he, he changed his language. So immediately you got there and we realized that you are there and your language changed from the first day when you regained your freedom from the prison from to start talking, to start being able to write and send out messages. You have never sent a single letter thanking the Ambazonian people who have been working day and night, moving from one corridor, one diplomatic corridor to another, carrying out worldwide protests, seeking for your release, and seeking for justice, for you to have justice. You have never addressed a single letter to them, thanking them that you regain even the freedom of start seeing sunlight, start talking, start saying words. You never thank them. It shows her the degree at which you have been compromised till date. We have, we have waited till, to, to no avail. You have never done it. Now, we don't think you can derail this revolution. We know you have done it a lot. You tried. We know several people will be coming up like this. Several things, several instances. 
you have tried your best, but you cannot, you have not succeeded. My, my brothers and sisters, let not uh, make any error. Sisiko will be released. We don't know the period where, when he will be released, but it is certain that after him signing all this compromising agreement arrangement with Kamto and uh, Bia's agent, he will be released. But make sure, even if you are released, you are not representing, you will not be representing the Southern Cameroon in any, on any negotiation table. You shall never be part of any negotiation. So whatever you sign with our oppressor hasn't got any links. Hasn't, it doesn't bind with us. My dear brothers and sisters, we know properly Sisiko. I had a, an audio whereby a meeting he held. They asked him, if you form two government, now, where do you form a government from Kondege? Where we already have a government which is free, that is fighting and that is fighting vibrantly, what do you think will happen? He said, then the world will see us, all of us, like we have failed. He has failed, we have failed. You have failed, Sisiko, not me or not Ambazonians. You are not, you alone, you are not an Ambazonian. You don't own Ambazonia, it's not your personal property. Say you have failed as a leader and you give chance to others, give space, free space to others who are willing to carry this revolution to a, conclu a conclusive and a logical end, which is Boya, independent and independent Southern Cameroon. So your major aim of creating another government, creating a parallel government, was to see that we fail. I, ha I heard that audio and I was shocked. I never believe you are a person that I know. I received you here when you came here in Belgium. We welcome you. We contributed. We showed you all the love because we knew properly that you are doing this fight for all of us. You are doing it out from your mind. But we never knew that that is not what you stand for. And you made it clear when you came to Belgium that anybody who tries to sell this revolution should be put under the bus. And that is how we did to Bala because you also said Bala cannot rule from behind bars. We put him under the bus and just like you are trying to rule from jail, we have put you under the bus. You, are in, you have been impeached. A new government is in place and has been doing a lot of job. We can't say they are perfect. There can be shortcomings like any other government on earth. But they are doing a marvelous job. If La Republique today cannot have 80% control over our territory, it's because of the current interim government, which is led by Dr. Samuel Sako Ekome and the vibrant Secretary Chris, who is doing a wonderful job. We heard you are, you, you are struggling to buy fighters and so on to cause some disunity. You can't. You can't. So my, my point here today is that Ambazonians should know that Sisiko will go on an appeal. They are going for an appeal. And that appeal is already arranged. It's a pre-arranged. It's something that is already arranged. It's just camouflage to show the public that this and this. He will be released. We don't know the time. And when he will be released, the, the aim is that the thing he's released will set a lot of confusion more because he will come and be struggling to tussle for power with the proper IG, the people's IG, which, who, uh, that is doing the right job, but he wouldn't succeed. You must have known that the Ambazonians have turned their back on you as an individual because of your actions that you have been doing while in, uh, while in jail. So whether you come out or not, you cannot do anything to disrupt this movement. This movement, what we believe is in, is an independent southern Cameroon. That is justice. We are not fighting. We are not terrorists. We are fighting for what rightly belongs to us, what we believe in, what we have had before. So let, and we are still giving you the respect. You still have the, the time and the chance to apologize to Ambazonian for struggling to crumble the whole revolution. Because when I heard that audio saying that when you create another government, when there are two governments, the international community will see that uh, we are failed. We cannot be uh, on our own. That is your. Uh, that was that was your idea because I heard you spoke in that audio. But make not mistake. Make no mistake. We are eight million Ambazonians. 
it is enough for you to stay away and let the others to move. They will deliver Boya to your generation, if not you. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I want us to draw, the main, the main reason I came up with this case issue is for you not to be surprised that he will be released, that he is released, and that he will start behaving exactly just like the, uh, Agobala did. Because when Agobala was freed, the first place he went is, was to one of our, our oppressors, those colonial, colonial uh, representatives on our land, to the governor. He was received by the governor instead of being received by his people. So we knew it directly. And that is exactly what you will do. And we are aware of it. But make no mistake, none of your agreements that you are making behind bars will bind us. Never. We have a government. We have a president in the name of Dr. Sako. He is a free man. He will rule us. He rules freely. He has shortcomings. We accept. But he's doing a wonderful and a marvelous job for this revolution. To Eric Tato, you have started discrediting the lawyers that are struggling to file a case before the International Court of Justice and the International Criminal Court. You started making that your game of conspiracy. You, you are a journalist. You know everything. I doubt if you know things, the things that concerns international, international law or diplomacy. Everywhere you know. You have started discrediting them. Why can't you stay and be fighting for the fake government that Sisiko, your tribesman, because you are so tribalistic that he has created from uh, behind bar. Fight for them and try to push your diplomatic uh, uh, relationship with other, uh, other nations to, to free us. But you aren't doing that. Every day from morning, afternoon, evening, your name, the name in your mouth is Sako, 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 Chris Anu, Chris Anu, Chris Anu. I doubt if Sako, Sako even know, uh, uh, calls your name. I doubt if His Excellency talks about you. You, you have become irrelevant to a way that nobody thinks they can listen to you any longer. If you want to also join, join the ranks of uh, Sikodianic, people who have collected money from La Republic du Cameroon to better themselves, but that they, ironically, they cannot better themselves. They have shot themselves on the leg. Now, let's support the interim government. Let's support our county by county, LGA by LGA. Fund them. They have to defend themselves they have been defending us we who stays in the we stay in the diaspora here the only thing we can do is for us to support them let nobody tell you that county by county has failed county by county is the highest thing that has given la republic a nightmare imagine if we created warlords ayabacho on his own military akwanga on everybody it will be different one they can sell this revolution but 13 counties can never come together to sell a revolution. They share one idea, and the idea is that we must be a free people. We must, be, we must be, have our independence. And that is why you see people like Eric Tato fighting against county by county. They fight against it, but they can never succeed. My brothers and sisters, you should carry that idea in your heart. Have that idea in, on, in, 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 right in your brain. That Sisiko will come out and he will start working against us properly, openly. Because now he has limit because he is behind bars. And the international community itself is, as, is also aware that a cross-section of the Ambazonian people who are free does not take any information or order from him because he, is, he has been impeached. They take orders only from the IG that is free, that is led by Dr. Samuel Sakwe Kome. And that, that is why when we call, when he calls and a, a lockdown, everybody respect the, uh, respects it. When he calls for any emergency lockdown, they respect it. That shows some leadership. That shows some form, some form of leadership. So my brothers and sisters, let know we don't have to bother a lot because we know we will have Judas, many Judas will be coming up. 
Some fake people will say they drop weapons. Some others will be bought to stand and say things. A handful of them have been bought here. They have opened fraudulent uh, Facebook pages when we make lectures like this. They come under and be writing only negative things, negative comments, neg negative comments, and we are aware of that. That when you want to fight, you have to allow people to be voicing whatever they have to fight, whatever they want to voice. They should make their opinion said whether it's, it favors you or not. This is a democratic world that we need to uh, allow people to say what they want to say. But if you think because you can say what you like, somebody says the contrary, then you want to fight the person, then it's a pity you don't fight the person. You don't share his idea, that is okay. So that is what all of uh, the Kondege case is all about. Now, the, we, what I also want to come, out, uh, come up with is that it's not only the Naira 10 that we need to support. Sisiko is there with the, uh, the, the, the nine other members of cabinet that were adopted from Nigeria and deported illegally to Cameroon. But we have thousands of people, thousands of fighters, thousands of youths Students that were arrested and they are languishing in jail. My brothers and sisters, what I want we living at the diaspora here because we have at least a bit of means that we can support them. Nothing is small. Let's raise funds, the legal funds to support those are prisoners, those people that are locked up, that have been locked up for, for no reason. Let's look for lawyers for them. Let's create a, a, a legal fund drive for our detainees. Because if we don't create legal representation, uh, some funds, they can never be legally represented before a court of law. And they feel that we have forgotten about them. And when people begin to feel like that, then they are, they are discouraged. They become discouraged and it discourages others who have put their life online, who stays there on ground zero and are sleeping in the bush to defend motherland, to defend homeland. So we have to support these people. We have to create a fund drive, a legal, a, 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 a legal fund to, to, to donate money, to look for good lawyers. They should be represented before the court, before a court of law. They should be represented. They have, they have paid the ultimate price. Some of them have been there for two years. With no, no lawyer. If you don't have a lawyer, they can keep you there forever without even judging you. We should create a legal fund just for these people. All are detainees all over. They are in Douala, Yaoundé, everywhere. We should look for lawyers, no matter the amount. That is what it means. We are one. We are one and we are together. That is what we have to do and that is what we must do so that every one of us who is there, who is fighting for this just cause, Shouldn't look, it should have a lot of courage to know that if he's fighting for this and if he is wounded, they can even get him some uh, drugs to treat his wound. If he is caught before uh, by, the, by the fraudulent law officers of La Republic of Gaborone, he will have legal representation before the court of law. But if we don't do like that, we discourage them, they will be discouraged. So that is my own opinion, and I'm begging to the entire public. To, to see into this matter, everybody, sympathizers of Southern Cameroon's independent movement, the Southern Cameroonians living all over the world, if we give just two dollars, one dollar, one euro, it's going to do that job. So we have to do that for them. We have to do that for them because we are free people here. So being free, we have to do that for them. We, we, we have to fight for them. They can't be fighting for themselves when well, we know the hard, hardship that is being imposed on them because of this nonsense war that is being imposed by colonial dicto, uh, dictator Pobia of uh, La Republic of Cameroon. So let's make no mistake. Let's be there for our people that are suffering in jail. And I still come back more. And lastly, no Sisiko will be out. There are a lot of Back, back doors, wrong arrangement that he's making with Kamto. Kamto is working for La Republic. Forget the fact that he was locked up. Why, why, why was he released and Sisiko and the rest were not released? 
that sound something that should uh, sing something in your in your head when you see him moving from one place to another he is not talking about his stolen elections he is not talking about his stolen victory he is talking about southern cameroon what is so important that Kanto cannot be talking about his stolen victory instead he is talking about uh, uh, one Cameroon and so forth he is a professor he can be versed he can be so versed so versed with uh, the international law but let him come on the table and represent Cameroon and represent La the Republic of Cameroon and let him stand we will prove him wrong with facts that we have we have hard facts hard evidence that are undisputed in, before any court of law, before any, any where we present our case, we are going to emerge victorious. We are going, to, we are going to emerge victorious and win this case. That is the only reason why La Republique du Cameroon is not buying any foreign talks, any negotiation. They don't want. That is why they feel they can use just this brutal method. And you can't kill all of us. You can never kill 8 million Ambazonians. You can kill people physically. You can never kill the ideas. And I want to still re-emphasize that we are getting to Boya, no matter the difficulties. We have never moved so close like this within a period of four years. The world is talking. We have done a lot of things that, that, that have never happened before. Pobia took power when I was born. Imagine. 30 something years and he is still there. Nothing changed. For the past just these four years from 2016 to 2020, we have witnessed a lot of change, changes. And those changes, we are not looking for changes. We want to own our nation and handle our affairs just like we handled them when we left Nigeria. Remember, we had our own police, we had our own assembly, we had our own prime minister, we had our own banks, and things were moving properly. Remember when they were chasing the UPC there and uh, named them as marquisas and terrorists? We gave them asylum and they were, they, were, uh, they, they were safe on our land. Nobody could come there and take them out. So, my brothers and sisters, let's know the truth. Let's not be criticizing. Sako and the IG for nothing. He is doing a good job. I'm not a, surro a surrogate to Sako. I'm not a surrogate to Bohem. I'm not a surrogate to Sisiko. I can work for everybody. I'm working for the struggle. Anything that I know is making us free is going to give us our independent. I am there. But when I see you begin to go on us independent. Then I know you are not working for us. So I begin to see Sisiko like one of the black legs as well for not working for us. If he begin to move from the original goal of independence. Because he wants freedom. We know when you want freedom, you can go astray. So my brothers and sisters, that is what I came, what I had in mind today to share with, with you people. And uh, furthermore, there is a global health challenge right now, the coronavirus. I would like to say, my brothers and sisters, you stay safe. As this virus hasn't got any cure for now, you should stay safe and strong. Because Ambazonians, they need you people. Ambazonians need population. So we don't need to... We don't have to lose. We are not going to be, 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 be losing a, a lot of people. So you should respect the rules, like the international community, the world uh, World Health Organization has put, to stay away from this virus, this deadly virus. And you should be very, very watchful and careful. So I thank you for watching and listening to my platform. Thank you very much, and we still get in touch. Uh, bye bye.